Okay, good. Yeah. Well, hang on, this is quite interesting. Let me just interrupt you. Now, Charlie Jardine, I see we're here on the hat stand. Yeah, come I know. On, gentlemen. What I've come to the dark side. <laughs> come on, what are, you, what are you looking at here? Well, I'm known for hats. I, I, I love my hats Speak from a practical standpoint because I've got to do, as a fly fisher, I've got to do a number of things. Shield from, you know, the sun coming up so yes. I get maximum vision. I don't like getting wet. <laughs> get, and, oh, well, that's a bit, bit like myself. So really. that's, why, that's why I'm here. And it's a great show for this because yes, I yeah. get a chance to do all sorts of stuff. So now this is this is a wonderful product range, isn't it? it, it it's brilliant because uh, I do actually know it by reputation. Uh, but come on, what's but, caught your eye? Well, anything that's working. Now, what I'm looking for a hat is it fits. Yeah. And this is where coming to Paul is such a good idea because they he. I know that he'll give me the right size, and this is where people get it so wrong. Yeah. It's size. What are we looking for size-wise? Come on, what's the, key, what's the key to this? Something that sits fairly low, so that when you, if you've got a wind or gust of wind, it doesn't blow off. Obviously, yeah, that's yeah. fairly key. Yeah, you yeah. don't want that floating down the river. Yeah. So something that sits just above the ear, not touching the ear, but just above the ear is ideal. Yeah. yeah. You need a little bit of pinch, so that it's not tight. Yes. But you don't want anything too tight, but enough to sit down well on the head. At the end of the day, you want comfort. Yes. I mean, look, the two things you don't want to have happen with a hat, one, it hurts, and the second one, that it goes straight down, especially if you're in a boat at Grapham. You know, suddenly you go, oh, and that has happened, believe you me. You know, oh, Lord, you know, there it's gone. So, you know, trying something, and that is the advantage of a show like this, is coming to try. It's like a fly rod. It's, it's yes. exactly the same thing, and people go, oh, it's a hat. Well, no, it's not. It's not yeah. just a hat. Try something appropriate, like the angler hat. By the angler. The angler hat's probably a good one <laughs> to start with. So, 57. No, you see, oh, this is, I don't know, 57. I mean, so you know, I wish. So I was 58 the other day. <laughs> Try that for a second now. Now, you see, that, that's not going to work at all. Right. Just see. See, the thing is, you've got a tiny metal band in there which molds to your head. Yes. So, see, something I didn't like this, that. something like this, if you pinch it a little bit, you'll feel whether it's right or not. And yeah. a, a couple of days down the track, you've got a hat that is really works for you. Where initially you go on and it rattles around. Yeah. Just fit it properly and you're on the window. So let's Paul, see. am I right in thinking there's a way of putting it on and off? Well, if you put it on your brow bone, if you put it on your brow bone and put it back, push and it back, and it's and there. And then just so, I mean, how many people know yeah, that? That's, oh, it's, that's, there are plenty, that's be my point. plenty of people that look like drunken Australians. <laughs> and, and can I do this? I'm not going to do anything drastic, but if you do that... Sorry. Yeah. Same. If you just do that, the window's going to do yeah. that. Yeah. True. Sorry. So, this that's way... Rude, isn't it? <laughs> so you put that on your brow bone, and then it doesn't come off. Sorry. That's quite all right. It doesn't come off. So let's try that again. Okay. Now you see that fits a lot, lot better now. But yeah, even so, a, you've got that, a little bit of a pinch there. So I, what, what I might do if I can't find something that absolutely fits is take this off and just put something in the inside. Yeah. yeah. Just Some, something. Very soft. It's very soft. You didn't realise it was going to be as educational no, as this. You thought, oh, hats. Here we go. Here we go. Hats. I mean, what we'll do later is just try in a 56 and get the right one yeah. to fit. Uh, effectively if you get stuck now the other thing is there's always going to be a constriction when it gets wet yeah. you know so you're looking at where yeah. now it will become part of you and it will sort of ebb and flow really yeah. but at the end of the day sorry I seem to be wearing bits of <laughs> bits of the shop um, but uh, yeah it, 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 You've got to look at all the realities of it. And it's not just buying a hat, for goodness sake, investing in awful lot. It's like a pair of shoes. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you don't buy a pair of shoes that don't fit. No, quite right, quite right. <laughs> well, I mean, as you can see, we're just going to leave uh, uh, Paul and Charles there to carry on with, with the hat fitting. Uh, Elmer Burford, a, a, a fantastic range, uh, not only for the hats. Uh, you'll see in, in previous issues of uh, Field and Rural Life magazine, uh, Paul covering one or two of the other items. And, and, and a pleasure meeting that with these guys. And, uh, and I'm sure they're... Uh, that's the one. Well, oh. there, there you go, another, another happy client. Thank you, gentlemen, for sharing that with us, and we'll catch up with you later. Thank you. Thank you.